teacher of all humane teachings. We are here this evening to congratulate the Marple Newtown seniors of 1985. This is an end and a new beginning for them as it is for all of us. We offer them our love, our respect, and our prayers for fulfilling futures. We also acknowledge devoted families, dedicated teachers, and diligent administrators whose gifts and energies have brought this class to graduation. We need to remember, however, that the most important lessons ever taught and learned come not from textbooks, but from humane and caring people interacting with each other. As we usher this graduating class into their new worlds, we want them to know that they have been, they are now, and they will be in the future our teachers. May we be worthy of being their students. May they go into their futures with your blessings and your protection. Amen. faculty, family and friends of the class of 1985, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the class of 1985, I am very proud and honored to welcome you to these commencement exercises. In talking to several members of the class, I got the impression that they believe that graduation was the end of a very special 12 years of school. But in reality, it is the beginning of a new chapter in each of our lives. Having worked closely with many members of the class, I know what a talented, hardworking group of individuals they are. The class of 1985 is a sample of the future of our country. If every high school graduating class throughout our nation could emulate our success and promise, this and their community will be receiving one of the greatest and most outstanding gifts to the promise of a more peaceful and successful nation. Of course, our accomplishments to date and our future plans could not be possible if it weren't for each of you here tonight. To our parents, grandparents, brothers, sisters, relatives, and close friends, we are truly indebted. Your support throughout our high school years has been greatly appreciated and will be remembered with respect and love forever. In addition, we would like to express our sincere thanks to the members of the faculty for all of their dedicated efforts and guidance. During the past three years, some of us, at times, might have questioned actions and decisions of teachers and administrators, but in the end, we realized that almost always your judgments were in our best interest. To my friends and fellow members of the class of 1985, I want to personally wish you the best life has to offer. Each one of you is a very special, unique person, and I am glad I could share many precious years with you. To close, I would like to share a poem written by Edward Cunningham that I feel not only the graduates but everyone here tonight can benefit from hearing. The title of the poem is The Future is Yours in All Its Mystery and Promise. Know that it will offer you trials as well as treasures, tears as well as triumphs. Walk down life's winding pathways with courage and humor and hope, savoring fully your achievements and learning from your defeats. Speak kindly of others, 
and think kindly of yourself. Be forgiving, no less of your own mistakes than of theirs. Learn to laugh, learn to listen. Aspire not to an unreachable perfection, nor merely to gain approval in the eyes of your friends. Strive instead to live to the best of your ability by those personal standards of honor and excellence which only you can set. Cherish above all your individuality. Glory in those special qualities of mind and spirit that make you uniquely you. Realize always that you are capable of reaching difficult goals and exceeding them, of dreaming wonderful dreams and making them come true, of achieving the only kind of success that really matters, that of being at peace with yourself and with the world around you. Now your moment has come, that world awaits, the future is yours. into my favorite armchair. My hands moved across the cool, creamy pastel of the invitation. The wording was simple. The class of 1985 cordially invites you to attend a 25th reunion gala on Wednesday, June 12th, 2010. Yet the thoughts and memories it evoked left me in a much disturbed and confused state. Was I the same as I was 25 years ago? Surely not. But who was I back then? And exactly who was the graduating class of 1985 at Marble Newtown? Long dormant memories came quickly as I began to retrace the paths of my youth. I remembered my first day at high school. Green as the paint in the hallways, I was boggled by the wide variety of activities available to me. Sports ranging from golf to lacrosse and back again. A debate club, a math club, skiing and computers. All this was mine for the asking. My memory became sharper and my junior and senior years became like freshly turned pages in a long unopened book. The knowledge I learned in those years, the foundations of my future efforts and source of my motivation were the results of caring teachers and hours of studying and hard work. My spirit and morale were shaped by school events such as the Senior Black Magic Spirit Week victory, the Hooters concert, and the Senior Variety Show, events that to this day 25 years later remain memorable. Of course, there was the prom. 
Who could forget that balmy May night at the Franklin Plaza when my tuxedoed classmates and I celebrated our commencement? But of all these memories, the warmth and depth of the friendships I made in high school were the thoughts that truly told me who the class of 1985 was. I thought back to that final day at commencement. Tears of happiness mixed with tears of sadness as friends who had been inseparable for 12 years looked into each other's eyes and realized that they must soon part. It was the smiles, the laughter, and sheer fun of these relationships that made high school great. Friendships made to last a lifetime. This sudden rush of emotion left me in quite an agitated state. Though I now remembered who we were, I wondered what we had become. Who was successful? Who was married? And who was a grandparent? The answers to these questions could only be found at our 25th reunion. The last time the class of 85 was gathered together as a group was an early June evening as we graduated. On that balmy summer night, as the sun began to set, I looked at the faces around me, and I was easily able to pick out the faces of the future physicians, engineers, electricians, musicians, and other promising people. Today, just a few days before our 25th reunion, I can't help but wonder what has become of my former classmates. In the past 25 years, life has certainly offered many different paths to follow. What I wonder about the most is whether my former classmates have met with success. The word success has quite a few definitions. One achievement may be in family life. Not only do I wonder if most of my classmates are happily married with families of their own, but I also wonder if the same people who always complained about their parents are now able to raise their children the way they felt they should have been raised. Or have they forgotten what it was like? And are they now running into the same problems that their parents faced 25 years ago? Success, as it is most often defined, is the attainment of wealth and fame, otherwise known as material success. There is no doubt that many of my former classmates went on to reach high goals. Perhaps, at this very moment, Someone is preparing to run for president in the upcoming election. Perhaps someone else has just been appointed chief of staff at Johns Hopkins. Certainly, many of the people who went into the business world must now be top corporation executives. Material success is not always what counts the most. Success may also be considered the attainment of one's goals. What matters most to me is whether or not my former classmates are happy with their lives. While money and fame are certainly luxurious, they may not make everyone happy, nor are they necessarily an accurate way of measuring a person's achievements. Success should be measured by a person's contentedness with what he is doing. As it is so aptly stated in the poem Desiderata, if you compare yourself with others, you may become vain and bitter for there will always be greater and lesser persons than yourself. Enjoy your achievements as well as your plans. Keep interested in your own career, however humble. It is a real possession in the changing fortunes of time. Many persons strive for high ideals, and the world is full of heroism. Be yourself. In other words, if one is satisfied with the chosen career, and is doing what he wants to do, then he is met with success. In this regard, the former class member who was moved to the small town, has taken a simple job, is not known by many but loved by a few, 
is just as successful as the person who has become a world-renowned expert in his field of endeavor. And if the world-renowned expert is loved by none, then I judge that the person with the simple job in the small town is actually the more successful of the two. There is no doubt that over the past 25 years, the members of the class of 85 have met with some aspects of success, and I am greatly anticipating our reunion when I will be able to find out what they have done. The members of the class of 85 have certainly come a long way from that first day of kindergarten years ago. Soon I will discover that the answer to the question, what are we now, is that we are the total of our experiences, shaped by our failures as well as our achievements, and only as successful as we truly wish to be. For in the words of Stephen Birmingham, success, like love, can come to commoners as well as courters. Like virtue, it is its own reward. Like the Holy Grail, it seldom appears to those who don't pursue it. to have you join with me in expressing appreciation to the faculty of Marple Newtown Senior High School. They are professionals who truly care, who give of their time unselfishly, who volunteer to do many things, all aimed at the welfare of your children, and specifically to this class. So I wish you would once again join me in thanking them for a job well done. The National Merit Scholarship Awards, these are awards for excellence in scholastic achievement and national competition. The following students are the recipients. Douglas Bell, Tim Hall, Jane Song, and Lori Chrysler. chapter, the most improvement in vocational technical education, it's in the form of a hundred dollar bond, and is awarded to Sean Noonan.
the Kermit M. Stover Alumni Association Award for Excellence in Mathematics. It's a $50 award and is presented to David Lazarus. The Rotary Club of Newtown Square, special achievement in the form of a $75 bond and is awarded to Amy Fells. Newtown Joint Recreation Commission Award, the Marple Newtown Players for Excellence in the Dramatic Arts, it's in the form of $50, it's awarded to a young lady and a gentleman, Leslie Cole and David Mabry. Two service awards are presented by the Marple Newtown Adult School Board. They're in the amount of $100 and are presented to Kyung Kwan and Gretchen Rohde. Newtown Band Association. It's an award for excellence in instrumental music. It's in the form of $100 and is awarded to Douglas Bell. Central Park Lodge Nursing Award, Excellence in Academic Achievement and Dedication to the Goals of the Nursing Profession in the form of $100 and is presented to Stephanie Stommer. Newtown Lions Club Award. There are two awards. They're presented for those who promote understanding and cooperation through the use of the foreign languages. The award is in the form of a plaque and a $75 bond. And they are awarded to Karen Smilk and Ellen Ross. Peterson Award for Excellence in Writing. It's a $200 bond and is presented to Carl Pilger. Service Award, the Welcome Wagon of Media, 
This is for excellence in English communications and community service. It's in the form of $200 and is awarded to Jill Abrams. The Marple Township Women's Club Awards for scholarship, loyalty, altruistic spirit, and democratic behavior. It's presented to two members of the class of 85. The award is in the amount of $300 and is presented to Wilhelmina Pizzini and Sharon Brophy. Club of Newtown Square, the Elizabeth Lee Memorial Award it's for progress, great progress in home economics. It's a $200 award and is presented to Peter Claponis. chefs are men anyway. <laughs> Women's Club of Newtown Square, this is the Catherine C. Phillip Memorial Award for Excellence in Social Studies. It's a $200 award and is presented to Mark Delaporta. Club of Newtown Square. This is the Isabel Hotz Memorial Art Scholarship for Excellence in Art. It's a $300 award and is presented to Lenore Rothermel. Chemical Company Award for Excellence in Science. It's a $250 award and is given to Victoria Matz. This is the Walter H. and Lily H. Wilson Scholarship Award for Worthy Achievement and fur Further Study in a Postgraduate Vocational or Technical School. It is a $1,000 award and is presented to Betsy Bentley. to ask Mr. Henry Fetterman, the Vice President of the Marple Newtown Education Association, to come to the platform. The Marple Newtown Education Association Award. This is for meritorious achievement and continuation in a four-year course of study. And as they do in the Academy Awards, I'll have Mr. Fetterman present the award. This is to Judy Tuckman. The award 
award is in the amount of $1,500. stage tonight and look out at the audience in the class of 1985, I cannot help but feel privileged and proud to be part of a community, of a school system, which I think is great. It's a great place to be. I look out and I look at the clouds, not a cloud in the sky. A great evening, great people, and what else do we need? Um, the only guy who knew that there wasn't going to be a cloud in the sky tonight was Bill Capriotti. Uh, if you looked out there at 11 o'clock today, you would not have predicted this. And I just think it's great to look out there and not a cloud tonight. And I know Bill's happy about that too, believe me. And uh, I think it's just great to be here and be part of this kind of a ceremony. And I consider it a privilege to address the members of the class of 1985 on a day that I know is very special and will be memorable to you, and it's completely your own. That's your graduation. And as you look back over your years in this school system, there's been a mountain of paper and gallons of ink and countless thoughts and many ideas and many words and deeds. And they all have preceded this graduation day. But the efforts of your families, your teachers, your administrators, school board and your community have all combined to help you prepare for the future and the world that is ahead of you. A future that I urge, urge you to grasp, not with anxiety, but with hope, and to continue to do your best to learn all you can, to be useful, to be kind, and to be caring people. Try not each day to let the sun go down on the day in your life when you have not done something worthwhile. I think. That's something that all of you should think about and think about in terms of a goal for yourself. You are indeed an amazing group, the class of 1985. The world is yours. It's all out there. All you have to do is go and get it. And from all that you have been here at Marple Newtown, we have confidence in you. And we know that you will be a credit to your community, to yourselves, to our country, and most importantly, you'll be a joy to all of us who care so very, very much for you. I know that we have a very special group of people in front of us. And I know that you parents and grandparents know that. And I know that our faculty know that. There are many people here who we talked about earlier in terms of our comments about our reunion 25 years from now. You don't know what you're going to be, but I know something. I know that you, we have the first lady president of the United States in our group tonight because she came down the other day and asked to have her picture taken with me. She said, I know I'm going to be the first president and I'd just like to have you have a picture taken with you. So I know we have some very, very special people here tonight. She's waving, I don't know if she's waving her hand back there. But I think that's sort of a symbol of the kind of talent and the kind of specialties that we have in this class of 1985 in Marple Newtown, and I know we're all so very, very proud of them. And I know that they also recognize that there are many people here tonight who have contributed much to their success who care very, very much about them and are very, very proud of them. And I would like to just give the class of 1985 an opportunity to recognize some of those people. And I think the first group that are very, very special group that we would all agree with are our grandparents. And so I would like to ask our grandparents to stand up. And I know they're very, very proud of them. Right. And let's have the class of 85 recognize them with a nice applause. Right. There are 
there's another group of people out there that have worked and have worked with you and tried to, they haven't been always sure of you because you've catched some dots and they've wondered about it some time, but they've always been with you and they care about you. And they really have helped you and that's your parents. And I like to have the parents stand up and just be recognized for all the problems they've had. Dr. Capriati already mentioned, but I would just like to mention again, and that is the faculty of the high school, not only of the high school, but of the school district, because as you look at yourselves, you're a product of 12 years or 13 years in the school system, and you may not recognize it now, but many times you will look back and remember some of the help and some of the thoughts that were given to you by the faculty of the school district, and I think that I would like to have them just stand and be recognized and let me show you. And just a final group that is relatively small in number, but they spend many, many hours, and many of you may not know them, uh, but let me assure you they do spend many hours on your behalf, and I think one of the things that we have a very fine school system we have to be thankful for, and that's members of the Board of School Directors, and I'd like to have them just stand and be recognized. And now, Dr. Capriati and members of the school board, it is my very distinct pleasure to certify and all of these members of the class of 1985 that are before you have really passed all their courses, they really have completed all their requirements, and they are really ready to graduate as members of the class of 1985, of which we are very, very proud of. And so, ladies and gentlemen of the audience, I'd like to present to you the class of 1985. Michelle Redinger. Christopher James Demas. Natalie Mullen. Arthur Michael Fassman. Gretchen Elise Rudy. Douglas A. McLaughlin. Jody Beth Ackers. Peter Abenizio. Nancy Laura Alexander. Jeffrey H. Abrams. Nancy Ayu. David F. Acker Jr. Annette Bagdasarian. Harun Arigian. Margot Lisa Baldwin. Frank E. Arndt the Fourth. Valerie Marie Bannon. George Edward Atkinson. Christine A. Baumeister. Thomas A. Ballou. Elizabeth Ann Bentley. Adam Christopher Beecher. Lisa S. Besterman. Douglas Lauer Bell. Bonnie Jean Bishop. David Paul Benassuti. Susan Linda Bisno. Stephen George Benassuti. Jane Marie Bonner. Michael Todd Best. Tracy Janet Borio. Joseph Michael Black. Laura Elizabeth Boyd. William G. Black, Jr. Elizabeth F. Brasto. Joseph H. Blackburn. Amy Susan Brill. Mitchell Kenneth Braverman. Sharon Ann Brophy. Lauren J. Bruninger. Lisa Christian Rust. 
Bethany Rush Burns. Robert Joseph Brooks, Jr. Stephanie Christine Burtnett. Ian Paul Braverman. Marisa Francis Calabrese. Samuel Thomas Buchanan. Jacqueline Joy Carr. John David Buke. Colleen Ann Carr. Eric D. Burgess. Teresa Marie Cassidy. Patrick Daniel Burke. Leanne Chandler. Vincent Calderero. Mary Beth Cherico. Michael Anthony Capelli. Sarah Margaret Clark. Gary Joseph Carbo. Christine Claire Coakley. David Scott Cavanis. Leslie Ann Cole. Andrew S. Chu. Elise Beth Cohen. Mark Vincent Cherokee. Sherry Marie Coleman. Craig Scott Cohen. Colleen H. Coon. David S. Collins. Beth Suzanne Cornman. Jeffrey Morris Cooper. Helen Louise Carr. Stephen K. Castales. Jill Carolyn Dacey. Theodore J. Castales. Mary Ann Dara. Louis Anthony Cagini. Christine L. Dusenberry. David Bradley Cunningham. Jill S. Deicher. Mark Eric Delaporta. Joanne E. Deicher. Michael Joseph Delvaccio, Jr. Danielle DeJohn Domenico. Dean A. DiBonaventura. Dawn Christine DiStefano. Anthony Thomas DiCamillo. Flora Docminian. Jeffrey G. Deal. Angelina May Doros. Michael C. DeFurio, Jr. Elaine Patricia Dow. Robert DePaulo. Lisa Beth Dunn. Gary R. DeRocco. Janice Marie Edwards. Richard K. DeSalle. Bilda Sarai Espada. Rodney W. Disher. Christine Susan Falciani. Alfred C. Donato. Dina Mara Farbman. Jonathan Todd Dorney. Amy Elizabeth Fells. Richard S. Doris. Beth Fleischer. Christopher James Doyle. Beth Noreen Foreman. David M. Dozer. Patricia Ann Garrity. Michael John Dunlevy. Barbara Ann Garvey. Anthony Joseph Elefante, Jr. Mary Teresa Gentili. Eric Robert Emanuel. Carol Giacomucci. George H. Engel. Kimberly and Robert Anthony Gilpin. Regina Marie Hanline. Alan M. Gorberg. Monica Lynn Parkins. Stephen Edward Greco. Nicole Ruth Harris. Michael A. Gross. Margaret A. Hashi. Alan Brett Goralnik. <laughs> Tia Renee Heath. Brian David Goralnik. Laurie Wynn Hegarty. Michael Thomas Hahn. <laughs> Jennifer Beth Helfgott. Timothy Allen Hall. Lorraine Carol Henke. John M. Hamill. Gina Ann Hotzenpiller. Frank L. Hannig. Randy Ingerman. Stephen Leonard Harris. To 
Jody Iapolo. Constantine Francis Harris. Casey Jarvis. James Hauber. Wendy Marie Jasidowicz. Andrew Robert Henderson. Karen A. Johannesson. Mark W. Henneke. Laura Maria Johnston. Timothy J. Higgins. Katerina Kaitue. Mark L. Hausman. Mary Karakelian. James Robert Boyd. Joanne Jude Keaton. Charles Franklin Hughes III. Dawn Michelle Kaiser. Robert John Israel. Elizabeth B. Kent. John Gregory Jester. Karen A. Kupitsky. Michael A. Jengosian. Lori P. Kreisel. Michael David Jabri III. Keong H. Kwan. Brian Joseph Johnson. Diane Courtney Lapar. Joel R. Johnston. Wendy Beth Levin. Mark Andrew Jordan. Lori Ann Lightcap. Paul James Kane. Janet Beth Lord. James Ira Kaufman. Susan P. McDonald. Chung M. Kim. Sherry Rose Marcus. Mark Robert Kleppner. Jennifer Mathis. Peter Charles Kleponis. Victoria Max. John Eric M. Kramer. Kim Mazanga. Michael Thatcher Kravitsky. Teresa Marie McDonald. Craig Scott Crumbar. Tina Marie McGinley. William H. Lawson. Elizabeth Ann McGinn. Thomas E. Leary. Melinda McKenzie. James Y. Lee. Jennifer Lynn Miller. Anthony D. Lara. Melissa Ann Miller. Eric H. Lieberman. Tanya Kirsten Minkle. Christopher Thomas Lore. Suzanne Joan Mooney. David John Lowe. Kristen Elizabeth Mizon. Robert Frank Luke. Jean Michelle Murphy. David Samuel Mabry. Joy Marie McCrelly. Stephen Malley. Dorcas Negron. John Ann Markopolis. Kim Chi Tay Nguyen. David Sean Marks. Jamie Beth Nicholas. Sean Patrick McAteer. Diane M. Neifer. Thomas Francis McGinnis. Melissa Ann O'Grady. Brian Mark McGraw. Jennifer Olin. Michael Joseph Mignon. Renee Rochelle Olita. Grant H. Miller III. Una Marie O'Reilly. Andrew James Mills. Linda Park. Jerome J. Moffat. Tarsia Pastras. Richard Lewis Moore. Wilhelmina Joan Pizzini. Kirk R. Morrison. Jillian Sari Polsky. Kevin Morrow. Judith Marie Prendergast. John A. Mulhern, Jr. Lynn M. Ravis. Stephen Edward Mulholland. Joy Rose Rappay. Anil T. Nair. Deborah A. Regner. Sean Patrick Noonan. 
Alicia Renee Rich. John L. Ogden. Tanya Patricia Richardson. John Edward Orcock, Jr. Judith Lynn Romaine. Jeffrey Thomas Orstaglio. Betsy Karen Rosen. Nick D. Patel. Ellen Elizabeth Ross. Sukitu A. Patel. Lenore Rothermel. Robert J. Peckheiser. Mary Catherine Santos. Anthony William Penna. Nancy Kate Sorsonello. Carlton Christian Pilger. Robin Jill Schwartz. Brian Henry Province. Susan Lynn Sell. Sean S. Rao. Jody Ann Short. Michael Joseph Regan. Lori Ann Scenario. Matthew A. Resnick. Beth A. Silver. David J. Richendorfer. Deborah Lynn Simpson. Michael J. Riley. Stacy Ann Saronic. Wayne Anthony Robinson. Karen Michelle Smilk. Robert Lloyd Rosenstein. Barbara Ann Smith. Albert M. Russo. Faith Ellen Snydman. Paul Joseph Salomon. Robin Sobel. Todd Morrison Sellers. Jane Son. Stephen S. Scher. Stephanie Ann Stommer. John Douglas Sadorsky. Karen Ray Swanson. Paul David Silverman. Holly A. Taylor. Peter Andrew Scarrett. Cynthia Cummings Took. William H. Sklar. Christina Torres. Ross G. Small. Judith Tuckman. Howard M. Smith. Lori M. Vale. Gary S. Soler. Sonia Ann Vanneman. Joseph Louis Spina IV. Vanessa Margarezis. Thomas Spitzer. Andrea Denise Vendetti. Clifford J. Steffens, Jr. Helene Villas. David J. Steigelfest. Katina Villas. Leonard Edmund Strelecki. Patricia Ann Walters. Jeffrey Robert Swavely. Mary Marina Watanya. Colleen Lynn Welsh. Terrence Paul Trevison. Sandra Ann Wilson. Richard J. Triola. Teresa Britt Vinte. Sherman Ann Sal. Tammy Lynn Worley. Edward Jermyan. Tracy Lane Worley. 